Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, should the ball ages Hollywood show out here. About to give you another Injustice Gods Among Us video. In this video, I'd like to talk about a useful tip I've learned for using Red Lantern Hell Jordan. As you can see here, level 25 with like 5,386 damage, over 2 minutes and 19 seconds to do 120,000 damage. Now, one thing that's really interesting to point out is John Stewart Green Lantern is actually used in the equation. Now, there's a bunch of variants factors for Red Lantern Hell Jordan. The first Green one Lantern. is the fourth world set. What the fourth world set will do will actually give you a, another chance to actually resurrect and be able to use his ability a third time. Now normally when you use it the third time it'll actually go to one health but with the uh, Red Green Lantern. the John Stewart Green Lantern passive ability you will resurrect and you'll also stay at 1% health. So we're going to do a fight in Bonus Battle 6 and show off the usefulness. So we're going to start off with the Beware My Power that does about 4,900 damage right away. There's the second hit. Now every time you use the Beware My Power, it takes exactly one-third of Red Lantern's Hell Jordan's life off. You can, if you don't have John Stewart Green Lantern, you can also substitute. Now, there's the emergency barrier kicking in. I believe the resurrection also triggered in. So there you can see the third Beware My Power. Now we're at Beware My Power number four, and you have to do this as quickly as possible. Otherwise, you're just going to get overwhelmed, and it's not going to work right. Well. So you have to basically have your finger on the super move, ready to hit it before he gets up. That's the best way to do it. You see, Lobo is still down, and we're still getting off super moves with Red Lantern, Hal Jordan. 8,273 damage and pop, and this gets even more annoying the higher it gets. That's five finishers already. And we did 120,000 damage with Red Lantern Hell Jordan the last time we tested this. You can obviously beef it up with other means. If you don't have the three-piece fourth world set, you have to use... Obviously, John Stewart, you have to use a level two move to trigger the emergency barrier. So now it's the Flash, so Lobo is eliminated. And Lex Luthor is the third person, so that was actually more health. So Red Lantern Hell Jordan is still going at it. Keep in mind this is only possible with John Stewart Green Lantern's emergency barrier. Because the super moves stop the timer, that's why you can actually get away with it. And the fourth world set will guarantee that you can get off a ridiculous amount of super moves. So if you ever want to cheat multiplayer, assuming you actually get to three bars, you can do so now. So the flash is down. I don't know exactly how much health he has. You probably still want some promotion that Hal Jordan. I believe his health is like one-third now, or one-fourth. We're already up to 13 super moves according to Vampire Vibe. There's another one. The Flash is about to go down after this super move right here. This is an unpromoted Hell Jordan against the third fight of Bonus Battle 6 with a John Stewart Green Lantern. So the Flash is now eliminated. Now we're after the third person. So now Lex Luthor is getting pummeled down. Now you have the four second timer when the emergency barrier triggers. Keep in mind the timer does not start until the guy gets up. 8,273 damage, and Lex Luthor is at half health. Now, what's advantageous about the fourth world gear is that you actually do not die 
and it will automatically trigger the emergency barrier. As I've said, if you don't have that, you have to get off a rage of atrocious. So Lex Luthor will be eliminated, and Hal Jordan is going to win the fight by himself, unpromoted at like level 25. 8,273 damage for the victory as Red Lantern Hal Jordan, over 3 minutes and 36 seconds, did 196,736 damage. So he did all of the work there, so if you really want to go and farm bonus battle 6, assuming you have the 4th world set and John Stewart Green Lantern, have fun with it because now it's actually pretty good to do. So it looks like 22 finishers according to Rast or Vampire Vice Cow. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take off John Stewart Green Ladder. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to take off the uh, Green Lantern Fourth World Mace on purpose. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the Ibis stick on Green Lantern. And what we're going to do now is we're going to test out. The two finishers, then the level two move, and then we're going to just spam finishers, or super Begin. moves again. So there's the first Beware My Power. Yeah, because uh, he won't actually get knocked out, absolutely. So, because of uh, John Stewart Green Lantern and with Red Lantern Hell Jordan, so now there's two uh, super moves. You have to use the Rage of Atrocious. To trigger the emergency barrier. So now you can start spamming super moves again. So if you do not have that, you have to use a level 2 move, and then that'll trigger the emergency barrier enough where you can just keep spamming super moves and the emergency barrier will keep going. Now, obviously, you're not going to have the ridiculous 4 second timer that lasts for 3 minutes, but you're still going to be able to get the same results out. And the Imba Stick also helps because you'll get some burn damage on Black Adam. That'll help wear him down. Black Adam is eliminated. So now we have Batman in the fight. Now we have another super move on Batman. That's two on Batman, I believe. Four or five on Black Adam already. And I really hope that Rage had seen this because you guys need to fucking work on your game. Because in WW Immortal, super moves do keep the like the time going. Actually, I guess it does it in Justice too, but it doesn't actually like set the countdown timer. So Batman is getting pummeled by Red Lantern Hal Jordan. I might actually have some fun with this in Expert and Nightmare difficulty. This could be a lot of fun. If they allow super moves, I might actually do that in Nightmare difficulty just to show it off. But usually they don't allow super moves in the end unless there's some ridiculous modifier. So there's the last Beware My Power that Batman could survive. So Batman is eliminated after this Beware My Power. So now Doomsday's in to take the Beware My Powers. Um, the reason it's 4 or 5 or possibly 6 on all the characters is because Red Lantern Hell Jordan is not promoted. Now you're supposed to have a 4 second window. Because of the Rage of Atrocious, you actually lose about 2 seconds. So the last time I tried this in the second fight, so there you see Doomsday gets knocked out. Now Red Sun Green Lantern wasn't even at a bar that you saw. So there's the difference between having it upgraded and not having it upgraded. Quite a big difference there. Supernova blocks for 4594. So that's why the third piece in the fourth world gear is super important because you can trigger the emergency barrier from nothing versus trigger it after two seconds of a rage of atrocious. 38,532 XP, 4,760 credits. So if you like this video on the Red Lantern Hell Jordan Beware My Power Super Move Spamming with John Stewart Green Lantern and the 4th World set, please give this video a like rating, comment, subscribe, share this video amongst your friends, and as a favorite, check out my other Injustice Gods Among Us videos, my playlist, Facebook, Twitter, and Switch, which are all highly in the show notes. And if you want that super annoying way to beat survival mode, 
get your Red Lantern Hell Jordan up to Elite 7 as soon as possible. Have a wonderful day, kids. www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Subscribe, bitches!